there's a lot of different ways to make low poly models. And we're going to start off with a dead simple technique. And it's a good way to get started on this sort of uh, endeavor. All right, step one is pixel art. We're going to make the texture for the character first, starting with the face. So make a face. I'm going to use GIMP and my mouse, and you can keep it as simple as you'd like. Done. All right, export what you have, and then in Blender, we're going to delete everything. There's an add-on, if you go to Preferences, called Images as Planes, and you need to activate that by clicking this checkbox. We're going to use this image. So, import Images Planes, select the image file that we have, and I'm going to rotate this right here so we can look at it from the front. And if I tab into edit mode and go to UV editing, we can line this up here. Uh, I'm gonna add a loop cut with control R and then um, this lined up in the center. All right, so um, that's a little blurry. I like the texture to look kind of crunchy. So we're going to go over here in the shading tab and select closest. And that will turn all of that off. So there we go. Um, we have the start of a face. How do we make it look more like a face? Well, we can do this and edit this, so, oh, yeah, that's a problem. Uh, go into materials right over here, and uh, there's this blend mode, turn that to opaque. That's just a setting when we import the image. All right, so now we have a side view of this, which is kind of what we want. We wanna be able to see this kind of from the front and from the side. And if we, actually delete half of this and add a modifier over here. Now we uh, we can retexture the other side later because right now they're both using the same side. Um, hey look, Ice Age. Anyway, so kind of just have to make this into the shape we want. I'm gonna add a line for the brow. And the shape we want is kind of just to uh, make sure that the texture is displayed. We wanna display the texture. So, so I'm not disrupting and warping this. I'm gonna use double uh, G, G twice. And that allows me to use this slide so I'm gonna slide this here, slide here, kind of adjust this shape. Oops. Turn on clipping over in the mirror modifier. I want this out here. Add another another cut. Hmm. 
Hmm. There's a couple things we can do for the nose. And what we're going to do today, um, to keep this simple, we could just make a separate object. But... Let's use the knife tool. And we'll actually uh, sculpt the nose shape. Now this is where we're going to need to do some editing. So if we go back to our texture, let's put this here and erase that and then export again so when we go back into blender that doesn't reload automatically but if we go over to here in the uv editor we can reload and that's a little better Still not quite right, so let's just select this, scale it down, and there we go, nose. Now this is a problem area. Now the uh, reason it's a problem is it's hard to tell what's going on here. So. Turn it into a triangle. And this is just a lot of constant tweaking to get this to work. All right. Now, we extrude here. That kind of gives us the general shape for the head. And I'm going to create kind of a circle shape here. So there we go. And if I select all of these and hit F, I can fill that in. Going to merge these together. So the ear will fall right about here. All right, that kind of works. Um, real quick, let's go back into here. Move the eyes one pixel in. That's a little better, right there.
Okay. Let's reload this and... Okay. Something about this isn't working. All right, there we go. It's a little better. Okay, if we select everything here and we'll change this selection to faces. We're just going to put this in this darker shade right now. And actually let's shade, well, instead of shading smooth, uh, we just need to see solid color right now, so. There we go, that's better. Okay, so that's the uh, basic head. And there's a lot more we can do to make this look better. That shade's not exactly correct. I'm just gonna put this right there for now and do the same for this. And so we'd, we'd put hair here or something. center of this we can have right here so when we rotate this to kind of get to get a feel for everything we can uh, so we can get a feel for that rotation the look of the model um, right here there's a problem uh, right at the top and that's because this quad is doing this here which means that blender's assuming there's a cut right here when it becomes a triangles right when it becomes triangles but we want one there so that fixes that all right i did some slight adjustment off camera moved the eyes down a little bit and uh one more thing i'm going to show here is that the highlight doesn't work with the eyes because we've mirrored one side of our texture. So in order to fix that, we're going to apply our modifier and we want one of these sides to be flipped around and that's the one right here. So mirror this here and moved over if we select this and then turn on snapping there we go that fixes the highlight issue and this model uh, should be uh, good to go for now uh, that's the end of part one next we're either going to do uh, like hair or the rest of the body it just kind of depends um, if you want to try this technique um, yeah, I'd love to see what everyone does. Um, but anyway, that's uh, all for now. And uh, leave any questions you have in the comments. Thank you.